right. Prince Sabah. Who is his heir? God, he's got his own. Yeah, if I lose this war, I lose the entire kingdom. So I gotta really hunker in here for this. Five months versus ten months. Perfect. Be awesome if we can start punching dudes out of this war. I can imprison a pope. That's kind of interesting. Flight, huh? Alright, so they got six months there, and I got two months here. Nice. Bring it home. Oh, cool. Sixteen months to take that, though. Gross. I gotta be ready to blast out of here when they finish their siege there. Okay, cool. Yep, go to Alexandria, where it'll take you 21 months, and I got two months left on their capital. Okay, I might be able to do this. Let's get an alliance. With this dude. Now we outnumber them. Look how we're turning the tide on this. Crazy. Still not in the clear yet, though, but we are close. You know what, actually? Maybe we can just do a. No, it won't let us do a white piece. Hmm. Five months versus 14 months. Yeah, we gotta take this. Nice! I'm married to my new wife now. Another wife is pregnant. We're about to free the siege. Alright, let's try to move on Alexandria and see if we'll win. Nice. Oh, nice. He became a tough soldier. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. You want some inheritable traits. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're gonna get them. Kill their army. Let's see. We could either unsiege their stuff or just kill the rest of their armies. 
Probably do a little bit of them both if we can. Let's look at Jerusalem. So the Ossetan are there, so Jerusalem is here now. Interesting. What's this? Ooh, a new sun. Ooh, Ra. That's a name that we used before. Let's cut our army in half. And let's continue the hunt for these guys. Nice. Beat him in another battle. Free Cairo. Or Giza, I mean. Son, I'm rolling them out. Um, Agathos, I like that name. Five months, we'll have this war over with. Do I get if I win? No money, unfortunately. Luckily, they'll be in prison, and I'll be able to reset this up how I need to set it up. piece of land here. Oh, and we have a new set of innovations. We want to go right away for um, heraldry, because that is going to be our next secession law, which will help us keep our empire together every time we die. Hmm, this one. That'll help us rush that uh, heraldry. How long? 19 years? We could survive that, potentially. Yeah, we're 45. We could make it to 65. Let's make a little piece. Nice. That's all I wanted. Jeez. That's messy. I can't disband here. Oh, there we go. Should probably start getting some men in arms so I can maintain a standing army a bit more. Look at me now, though, huh?
Ooh, another faction created against me. Phenomenal. Let's see what it is. Sabah. Another faction just installed Sabah, but he's in my prison, so I think that um, if that goes through, then I'm just going to, you know, execute him, <laughs> I think. Oh, how annoying. Why do they like this guy? It's kicked all their butts. Is it of all these, like, independent dudes again? So this will be solved when I make... Well, it'll partially be solved, I guess. But when I consolidate their power a little bit more. Ooh. I should do is take oh why aren't, aren't any of these guys his vassal or his heirs weird but i should take this dude marry him to my niece i guess and it'd be nice if that gave us an alliance it's kind of what i did that for they really have nobody yes i guess i don't have any daughters so I need, right? No, she's a she's a daughter. Well, she's betrothed though. Okay, that's what it is. I don't have any daughters. Okay, well, asking you to receive, I guess. Between him and why can't I do marry this guy to my daughter? Hmm. What this gentleman? This fine young man. What in the hay? Alright, so here's my daughter. Who could she get married to? Chiefdom of what? Albira? Where is that? Here. Which is. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Actually, that works out because that will keep me in an alliance with this dude. And this dude. Actually, I'll do that right now. I'll create the Duchy of the Delta, and I'll grant it to him. So these are like the same titles that I was when I started um, as Alexandria here. Um, that's what kind of what I'm doing is I'm creating some higher lords to organize it so that these aren't instead of like all being instead of this guy talking to me and this guy talking to me and this guy talking to me and this guy talking to me they, all these guys here now talk to him and then he talks to me and I just deal with him um, and it, it, it consolidates power a bit more and but of course more consolidated power means that if this one guy doesn't like me then that's a problem and then I'll have to deal with that uh, well, let's put him Fact in charge there. Seems like they like you though when when uh, you give them land. So usually, I think the process of consolidation provides enough stability to sustain itself, if that makes any sense. So this guy's kind of like my du Duke of Cairo. Um, he's like a religious dude, and then there's this dude who's in charge of the Delta. I want Alexandria. That's fine. So these should answer to me as my little counts. I don't like that this guy has a claim on me, though. How old is he? 45? It'd be cool if he died, actually. <laughs> um, looks like I think he's my half-brother, yeah. And I just got Sulla back. Sulla him back. And then this is my other half-brother. But he had a kid. And as long as he doesn't declare war on me, his um, claims won't be pressed. And as long as his son does also doesn't declare war on me, then I think we'll be golden. He should convert, though, to back to our religion. Cool. Looks like he did. Um, this needs to be dealt with. This, I just need 250, and then I'll get the guys consolidated there. Otherwise, actually, this is all pretty well taken care of. Um, I need an alliance. Actually, I have an alliance with this dude. Why? Because of... I'm not sure. Oh. 
We are allied, though. Because his mom is my cousin and sister-in-law. That's a thing, but... Who is this? A nobody? No siblings? Hmm. I think maybe we just negotiated after a previous family deal. But this guy's cool, because he's on board. He's my ally. He's a pretty powerful va vassal in the south. It's cool when they're powerful on the edge, too, because um, they can then conquer for you. So I think it, when you get big enough to a point, I, a lot more of your focus should be the internal management of your country. And if you really consolidate some strong kingdoms on the edge of your king on the edge of your empire, they can start pushing out like like in Julius Caesar fashion or something and start really taking over uh, all the other places. Look at this guy. Look at this Ponce. Hey there, Prince Sauter. Nice mustache, dude. Jeez. It's either all or nothing with these guys. It really is. Alright, what's this? Yeah, absolutely. We need to get this patrol going. This was like a decent alliance, I think, too, if I remember. 700 dudes. Not nothing to scoff at. That was a lot more in the beginning. Um, now I'm at like 3,000 guys now that I'm like a kingdom, so some bigger alliances are a little better, but what can you do? This guy's actually not too bad right here. So now, like the, like I was saying with the consolidation, um, I was able to take these counts that were all being pesky, and that's who just revolted against me that I was in this big war with. And I was having a really hard time taking them over. But now that I've st uh, defeated them, looks like they're actually still in jail, which is cool. Um, that's fine by me. Now that I defeated them, I put them under this guy's jurisdiction, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. He has to worry about them and them revolting and all that good stuff. I just have to worry about him, and because I'm married with him, because my half my sister is his um, wife, we have an alliance. And so I'm, I just basically created that, it, I allied that area, is what I did. And that's what I did earlier too with the Sinai Peninsula. This guy just really likes me, we don't really have an alliance, although that would be great. Um, yeah. So then next I'll just have to create this one. This little U-shaped one. What is it called? Al-Wahat. Because it, there's no point in having little independent counties in here. It's messy. I need to grab, like, this dude. And although he revolted against me, didn't he? He looks kind of familiar. Hmm. Well, whichever dude's the best, I'll have to grant the, the duchy. Do what is necessary. Do what must be done. Um, yeah. Calm. No way. I don't know if I really want to be ransoming too many people, actually. Because some of them have some claims <laughs> that are pretty useful. Oh, a daughter. Nice. A daughter. I'll see. 14. He's, what? He hasn't got anybody? Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why I can't get married to this dude. Oh, I can. And it'll continue my alliance with him, but he's one guy in 1700, and I already have an alliance with him. I need an alliance with some of these other guys. Um, like, probably Sinai. That's cool, actually. Yeah, pull him in. Look at that. Nice. So now I'm allied to him, too. So these are two guaranteed powers. Um, Kalidid and Turid. That can't join in anything against me. Actually, same with Delta, because he's allied with me as well. So all I have to worry about now is these counts in here, and then this Shia Caliphate. Which, the Shia Caliphate actually is kind of being a pest. There he is. Yeah, and it's those guys that are the problems. So these two will be wiped out when I deal with the last thing here. 25% of this will be taken out. And it'll just be the, that guy by himself. Sakam. He has no claims, really. Uh, Wait, who is he? Nah, no way. He's the heir of the guy that's the problem. No way, because he's going to get a claim as well. No, I'm sorry, dude, but this claim dies with you. 
You guys will never see the light of day. A little too dangerous. You don't start a war like that and then and then make it out. Not in uh, Ra's kingdom. Not in Ra's Pharaoh Ra here's land. Who's this? Oh, Solder. Cool. Solder had a kid. Guys, so. Oh, that was my heir, Solder. Darn it, I kind of thought it was like someone else for some reason. Oh, and look, he finally has one of those traits that we needed. Awesome. Let's do... Yeah, plan cultivation. Or we're actually probably going to want to start going on the left pay path here pretty quick. Nah, I mean, it's not neat or anything, but... What culture is this? Ossetan? So it's like Southern French? Hmm. Um... Ayatollah Faran, that's fine. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll do it. Sure, sure. So this guy's at war, though. What's this about? War against the tyranny of... Hmm. I can't remember if that's just a liberty war, or... If they're trying to, like, make him abdicate. Giza... What's this? Conceived through a sinful union? Oh, come on. Come on, people, keep it together. Oh, now I can create this other duchy. And I'll grant it to. That guy, what's his problem with me? Oh, he does like me. I just hold the dessert duchy. Yeah, this guy should get it. And there you go. Sweet. Nice. So now that's a little more consolidated there. You can kind of see how it's getting a little more organized. So it's just peace, 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 peace. Each one is about as powerful as the other, or at least is, is po powerful enough to be a contender. But not powerful enough to, to take on the boss. And what's next then? Unfortunately, Tobruk, I don't actually don't even have... Maybe what I should do is grant the Alexandria one. And have them have Tobruk, Solomon, Siwa. Hmm. Then they'll want Alexander, though. That's kind of a, a thing, I think. Um, no. Now what? Now what is the faction that's created against me? This dude? Uh, the dude of Tobruk, of course. Hmm. Let's speak well of you, sure. All these dudes, all the powerful dudes, yeah, don't they can't join. I'm too tough. Now that we got that taken care of, what we want to do. We still don't really have a ton of money. What we want to do, though, is get a little bit more going on with our military. Uh, Sabah Hakam. Wait a second. Yep, okay, that's Sabah. I want to move you to the dungeons, dude. Who's close family? Parents, grandparents, children, and grandchildren, and siblings. Um, no, he's not really too close. 
But you're going to the dungeons, bro. And so are you, actually, dog. Who's this guy? I don't know who this guy is. No family. Lowborn. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> okay. So he's just here, I guess. Okay, what's this guy's deal? He's the Sheik. The Ka. Um, yeah, I'll ransom him out. He seems like he's kind of learned his lesson a little bit, and he's got enough money, and also he's not my problem anymore. Azim needs to deal with him now. Azim's in a unique position, too, because he's allied with this dude up here, but this guy he just hates him. Hates his guts, it looks like. Ugh, come on. Makes it easier to have the people you need in your council, too, when you have less vassals to worry about. What's he gonna do? He's definitely better at the military. There we go. Scholarly circles. Scholarly circles. What is my devotion? It's at a decent level. 4,000 guys I can muster. Mustard. Um, yeah, let's name it after you, lady. You did a good job. Great kids. Hey, if you think the video was worth your time, please hit that like and subscribe button and check out the other videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.